Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create detailed report in a report builder by using wizard. So let's go ahead and open our report manager. And as you can see that I'm connected with the report server by using a report manager. Let me hit it on the home. And we have few folders here. One of the folder is called data sources. And I have a sales data source already deployed to the report server. That's what I can see right here. Before you go ahead and create a report by using the report builder, it's a good idea to have your data sources deployed to the report server. So you can use those data sources in the report builder when you are creating the report. If you would not have those data sources, you have to create embedded data source in your report while you will be developing a report by using the report builder. So now let's go ahead and click on a report builder and I'm interested uh, to create a detailed report. Uh, so we are starting Microsoft SQL Server 2014 report builder. This is no different uh, from uh, SQL Server 2016 uh, report builder. So if you want to use that one, I have installed that and I will be using uh, 2014 and uh, 2016 uh, in uh, different videos. So they are not really different. I have done uh, a video um, that shows uh, the differences uh, between the report builder in 2014 and 2016. You can watch that video as well. Now the report builder is open and here we have built-in fields, we have parameters, images and data sources and everything. As of now we did not get the getting start window. If we would have get that then we could start from uh, start the wizard from there. So there is a way to get uh, start window. We can click here and then go to the options and we can click here so show the getting start dialog box at startup if i hit ok and close this now and come back and reopen the report builder i will get that getting start window even we don't have getting start window we can always go and create our report from the new but here i'm going to show you this is the getting start window you can start creating report right here so you can select table or matrix wizard and once you select that we will be able to create the report let's say you somehow you cancel this part out now you are here and you don't know how to start the wizard so you will be going to the at the corner and say new and say new report so this is pretty much the same window but it does not have recent and open so click on table or matrix wizard and then choose an existing data set in the report or shared data set. So what we have to do if there is a data set that we already have deployed to the report server, we can use that. And then we have to browse and tell where we have deployed that data set. In my case, I haven't deployed any shared data set to the server. So I, that's why I don't see that. But if you have done it, you will see them and you can get by using the browse and use it. I'm going to create a new data set. So I cl click on the create a data set, hit next. And next option is a choose a published data source or create a connection for use only in this report. So that's what I was talking about. You have uh, deployed the data sources on report server and you can use them. So right here we have sales. That's what we are seeing right here. If you want to create a new one, that will be just for that report. It will be embedded in that report. I don't recommend that. If you want to create any other data source, go back to here and hit a new data source and provide the server name, database name and credentials and create it here and come back to the report builder and use it. Now in our case, we are all good with test connection is successful hit new sorry next and uh, as of now you can see that uh, database of view in the database view we see the schemas we have DBO schema and sales schema let me take you to the SSMS uh, SQL Server Management Studio and show you my database so I have sales database here and uh, I have two schemas uh, here if I go to security and uh, one of them is sales and one of them is DBO the rest of them are system so I don't care about that and if I go to the tables uh, all of those tables are DBO with DBO schema or some of them are with the sales. So that's how you would see that. So these uh, you are seeing a database view and you see the schemas first. Once you click on the schema, you will see the tables and views and store procedures. In our case, we are going to use the tables. So click on the table 
and then the next part we know that we always use a total sale table so this is what I would like to use I'm gonna click on plus sign and select the fields let's say I select a few fields and in this case I'm gonna select country region and all that so that's all I would like to present on the report I can run the query and see the results so this is great I can also edit as a text so I can see as a text my query I can change it if I would like I can run from here as well I can import two things one RDL and this that's a report other part is dot SQL so we can if we have written a query we have saved to the local folder or we have even saved into the uh, reporting server we can get from there so once we get the SQL file then uh, we will be able to use that uh, most of the time you have reports deployed to the server and uh, that SQL file sitting on your local uh, machine so you will be importing uh, that dot SQL from there so in our case let's cancel this out as we are writing the query by our self now uh, this is a if it is a store procedure you can change to store procedure right now it is text so it is simple select query for me I can hit edit as text again and it will take me back to the uh, different view of uh, this uh, window so I can see that there are multiple things uh, I would like to do um, in the next demos I will keep doing this uh, uh, relationships and parameters so let's go ahead for now very simple uh, uh, query so we have selected few of the fields uh, and then creating the detailed report hit next for now now here we have available fields we have row groups column groups and values as of now we are not using any groups so we want to have simple detailed report so I'm gonna go ahead and select all those you can click on any of them and drag it and if you like to select multiple you can select here and then press the shift at the end and then drag it all the way again so you see that the first name came two times I can delete that as well so let me go ahead and see if we can just put it back so once you put it back uh, there isn't any more so you can just drag them back or you can drag them in this box so you can also set the up and down by dragging up and down so you can select in the sequence you want to display now we are all good here we are not using any row group or column group we will in the next videos but this report is going to be detailed report so hit next and then we can see the way the report will look like we do not have subtotal we do not have a we are not using blocked or uh, stepped or subtotal in this report so this option is also expand collapse is also not available because we are just using a detailed report so hit next next you will select the colors whatever you like let's say we would like to go with the forest and finish now our report is ready you can see that you can come back and change the things here let's run the report first and take a look so this is how our report will be created and as of now you can see that the sale person first name last name are not coming really in these cells what I would like to do I'm gonna go ahead and change that I'm gonna call this one F name only also for the salesperson last name I'm, I can expand this one a little bit so it's my choice if whatever I would like to do I can uh, expand or I can make it small I can uh, change the colors and uh, all those uh, uh, bold italic and everything is available to me I can make it italic if I like I can make it bold so it, all the fonts uh, properties are available for us to use let's run the report again now report is coming right but one thing I noticed uh, okay I was expecting to have some other columns that I missed so let me go back to the data set and here if you click double click on the data set you're gonna go first of all I would like to call this one D set sales because that's the proper names name and now instead of just having these column I would like to have another column so I'm gonna go to the I can write it by myself with the comma so I can write it uh, item sold or whatever I want or other way around is to go back to the query designer so if I go back to the query designer I'm here and I would like to get uh, items sold so that's the column I was missing and next uh, hit OK now we are all good fields are coming correct item sold is coming and now in the data set we can go back and grab the item sold at the end or wherever we would like to put maybe here 
and that will be there so you can create your report and we can see the items folder right here so we can create the report and then we can make changes i prefer using wizard and then later on anything i would like to do maybe add a parameter or add a new field or make it uh, bold italic and all those kind of thing once I have uh, the initial format uh, and after that I can play with that uh, and uh, make all those uh, changes uh, so this is how I will uh, perform or create my report by using report builder so this was a detailed report uh, next uh, we are gonna create uh, the rep with the report with the row groups uh, and step uh, and drill down and all those kind of things with the report builder thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in the next video